What's up guys, how is everyone doing? I hope you're all having a splendiferous day. Welcome back to part two. This time you're gonna be watching the color blending tutorial. If you didn't catch part one, we were going over the RGB blur. I also taught you the liquify tool so that you guys could start to melt and blend your colors and your images and your text together. Basically my aim with this tutorial is to give you the inspiration that you need because honestly the best way for you to learn is just through messing around and practicing. If you end up following the tutorial or have created some artwork like this yourself then come share it with us, come find the discord, it's in the description and at the top of the comment. You're currently watching Griffin GFX, the best graphic design channel on the planet. I know I've been gone for a minute guys but we're back now so without any more waiting let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so let's get straight into it. Now the first thing I want to talk about is exactly what I'm doing in this video. So I used this bit of imagery in part 1 and part 1 is doing great, you guys clearly like it but you all wanted to know how I created the rainbow effect that's in the thumbnail of part 1. So in this video I'm going to be going over how to melt all of your colours together and how to blend and blur and liquefy them and do all of this kind of stuff. Sorry about that noise, that was my coffee, very almost spilt. I wanted to mention as well all the effects that you saw in the intro where I'm taking these kind of visual effects but actually making them move and stuff like that. If you guys want to learn how to do that maybe I'll do part 3. Let me know if there's enough of you in the comments that want to see all the kind of animated effects then we might have to jump into after effects for part three but for now let's get straight into how to create this crazy rainbow glitch effect okay so i feel like the best place to start with something like this is to use somebody else's artwork right because realistically it's 2020 who's making their own artwork absolutely no one instead of spending ages in photoshop messing around with the liquify tool until you have a really random beautiful color palette why not go take somebody else's because we're going to be manipulating this along the way if you do want to do this kind of stuff yourself then watch part one you'll be able to create imagery like this very easily but for me right now i'm going to create a new document and i'm going to begin using somebody else's work so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to make the background black and I'm gonna drag this artist's work in. I'm gonna have his link in the description because he's got some very beautiful stuff. And here we go. So the idea is you want your text to merge in with this. Now, the best way that I've found to do this is simply to add a stroke to the outside of your text. So let's make some white text and let's call it melting like that. Melting. There we go. I'm gonna rasterize that. I'm gonna drag it down to here so we have it like this. And then you'd obviously want some of it to melt so we're gonna use the liquify tool and I'm just gonna drag it down and have it like that. So it's literally melting. Now here where we want it to blend, we need it to have some of the same colors as this image. So let's saturate the image. Let's pick the colors that we want. Maybe something around there is quite cool. So now what we can do is on the outside of this melting tin, we can literally start to draw our own strokes. So I'm gonna get some of this pink here for this one. I'm gonna have it coming down like that. I'm gonna have some of the blue a little bit lower down like that. Here, let's bring the pink up all the way around to there. And then for this one, maybe we'll go light blue with some green. Maybe we'll have the green around there and the green around there as well. Why not? Some pink over here, maybe. So there you go. Now, when we start to kind of liquefy this text, it's going to look more like it's part of this piece instead of something that you're just trying to add to the piece. If I'm not really making any sense right now, you're going to see in just a second as I start to liquefy. So now if we combine everything that we've got so far by shift clicking all of the layers, control J to duplicate, merging the layers together and making a few copies in case we want to come back in the future. Now I'm hiding all the layers other than my top one and I'm going to begin to liquefy. So here the world or not the world, the canvas is your oyster guys. You can do whatever you want 
mix things up, get absolutely crazy. This is where people be seeing effects and they be asking me how to make it. Honestly, I don't know, right? Liquify tool, okay? This will give you any effect every single time it's gonna be different. If you're trying to copy somebody else, you're gonna have a very hard time. If you're trying to make your own unique art, then it's gonna be easy because this is gonna help you do whatever you want. I've been using this tool for a long time and I still have no idea what the maths behind it is. It seems extremely random. Um, I don't really understand it, but it's great. Look at these effects. It's absolutely great. A way of making your effects look cooler is to add a noise. A noise? I don't think that makes any sense. To add grain to your image. Um, it's called noise. It's little particles like this. You can change the intensity. That is too intense, although the black background looks very cool like that. And obviously when it's very low, it almost just looks low quality. So you wanna go and be brave. I reckon something around 30 and my contrast is quite high. The contrast basically determines whether it's like that, very pastel colors, not very interesting or extremely vibrant like that. So I go somewhere in the middle. Now, for me currently, I'm on my 1920 by, I was gonna say 1080, I don't know why it's 1920 by 1599, but um, just so you know, in case you wanted to copy my settings. This is now what we've got guys. So this is extremely random, but you get the idea that the text here is blending into the image. Now, if we go back a few stages, what you could do is you could add the black to go around the letters like this, for example. This enables you to, I probably should have done that with a hard brush, it might have looked cooler, but this enables you to really kind of create the idea and image of, for example, on this one, sorry, I'm, I'm not getting my words out. For example, on this one, where it looks like the color is actually almost gas that's in the air, that is because it doesn't look like it's an image in the background, because what they've done with a soft brush is they've gone like this in different areas to make it really look like it's kind of, gases in the air type thing. I hope I'm making sense. Um, so I'm just going like this now, you know, add some dark bits around the text, really make it look like everything's supposed to be there and then get back into that liquify tool and continue having fun. Here, I almost don't like how small this area here gets. There's too much detail for the type of image I'm going for. So I'm just gonna try and blow this back up and see what that looks like. That actually looks absolutely crazy. I don't think I like what I've done. But the point is, this is like how you experiment, guys. Like I said, I can only teach you how to experiment. Um, but yeah, if you want your text to melt into your image, then add different color strokes so that it looks like it's part of the image and blend it with the liquify tool. Something else that they did in that image effect that I showed you earlier is they had um, bits of text where it was actually just the stroke showing. I think that's quite cool. So you can do that simply by making the color the same color as the background, then adding a little stroke like that. I think that's quite a nice effect. And when that blends into the background as well, it looks very cool. But yeah, guys, I wanna keep this short. Um, so to wrap this up, I'm gonna add the noise. Like that. And I'm going to go ahead and drag a plastic wrap over the top. That's gotta be done, guys. If you want your artwork to go from shit to amazing in a few clicks, you have to do this. You basically get a plastic wrap and you change the um, properties and you lower the opacity or instead you ch choose a blending mode which allows the background to show still or the foreground to show even I guess. So then you got something like that and then we can crop the whole image and boom we have a very strange but unique piece of artwork. This is how I would say to do it. Um, if you want more artwork like this, remember 500 likes and I'll get into Adobe After Effects and we'll do that. Uh, equally, you can come into my Discord and share bits of artwork that you found if you want me to teach you how to do it. I might see it if other people want it, then it's definitely going to get upvoted and I'll definitely see it. So yeah, get involved with the community. Um, I know I've been gone for a little while. I'm probably going to explain that in one of my future videos. I don't want to make excuses, but uh, I have been staying busy nonetheless. I've been doing client work. I've actually been working on a book. I've been developing a new brand. So yeah, there's been lots going on. But uh, hopefully I'm going to be back. I'm going to try and get a video out every week like you might have saw in the intro. That is all from me. Enjoy the rest of your day or night or whatever it is. And take care, guys. Peace.